We roll. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, uh. What's up? What's up? What's up? I went to my local thrift store. I actually volunteer there, and they have a special. It's five dollar filler pillowcase with anything. I volunteer, so I get the first dibs. I just got that for my daughter. And there's a lot of random stuff. That might not be worth anything. It's kind of cool, though. These might be worth a couple bucks. Rubble on letters. Christmas ornaments. It's that one. I've just I've been buying a bunch of DVDs because I can. That's a game. I can give them out for Christmas. They don't sell. Chapa keeper. Oh damn. Sorry about that. Got some Nikes here. They got little cleats. I didn't see that. Might be worth a couple bucks. Disney Princess mouse ears. I got a Buzz Lightyear one like this. It goes for around 20 bucks. This light thing. I doubt it sells for anything, but it's kind of cool looking. Whoa. I'll edit this shit out. There I got three Clive Cluster Cussler books all on CD. These things I saw they sell for like five bucks, I think. Got a devotional Bible. This thing is probably at least worth 10 bucks, if not more. DVD. And I buy these DVDs. Yeah, I get a couple bucks online for them. Sometimes it's a Spanish Bible. Sometimes I get like eight, nine bucks for them occasionally. Most of the time they're only a couple dollars. There's another audiobook. Oh, they're cassettes. I shouldn't even pick that up. Oh well. Cats! Doop -doop -doop -doop. Baby classics. Uh, PSP case. It's about the PSP, ain't it? And that's about it. Tweezers. Uh, pretty good for five bucks, I think. Let me know what you think in the comments. Stuff. Peace. Out. I just took a trip to about 30 miles to a place called Somerset, Pennsylvania. And I like going out there because they charge like a flat rate for like everything. Which is kind of crazy. It's kind of good, actually. I had this for a dollar, Wind Waker. It's worth at least 20, 25, 30. All these games for the GameCube were a buck. Day of Reckoning, Def Jam. I like wrestling games too. Mario Kart, Double Dash, that's like 25. Easy. Then they're all in good condition too. They're all complete and don't have a lot of scratches. Super Smash Brothers Melee, that's another 25, 30 bucks. And then these are probably going a lot together. Agent Under Fire and uh looks like I could play them because I have a I have a Wii. This is the last I paid five bucks. It's the last wrestling game for I'm pretty sure it's 15, 20 bucks at least. 
a Bayonetta 2 with Bayonetta. These aren't. These are five bucks each. Donkey Kong Country. Yoshi. This is 50 cents. Maybe get a couple bucks out of it. It's an iPhone 6 case. And five. It was a dollar. That'll take a while to sell, probably. This is a dollar twenty-five. It goes about fifteen, twenty dollars. It looks about new. And for the Cubs World Series, seen this. This is three dollars at the um, Salvation Army, and they go for up to forty dollars. But this is like new, open, open box so it'll it'll still get a good bit rolodex i'm not sure probably a couple bucks these are seven to ten dollars the wii motion plus yeah i gotta pay a dollar for it and these were buck each i actually went back after i learned how much they were worth these dymo i saw someone sell like six of them for like sixty dollars almost, and that's crazy. I got four, so yeah, that's definitely a good find. Oh no, I got five. So I'm thinking I could probably get forty bucks for all of them, which is pretty sweet. Also, oh damn, I got these zip discs, dollar each. The brand new, uh, we might get five for both of them. A dollar for these micro cassettes. Again, I might get five bucks or so. I got these Nike shocks. These are two fifty. They're in really nice shape. I'm pretty sure they will they will sell pretty easily. Nike Elite. They are really clean. Plus, I got these. I think they're hyper dunks, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Hyper dunks. These are also really nice. Two fifty. Really clean and nice. That's that's an easy 50, 20 30 dollars. Probably both of them go around twenty bucks each. I got these Asics. These were actually five bucks. They were ten half off. But I think I'm gonna keep these for myself because I like them. And they fit me. Jerry Lee Lewis. I got three of his records. I'll put them in a lot. Maybe get ten bucks. I'll pay a dollar each. It's not big profit. Road Rash. I just like this game. It's kind of. It was two dollars. It's pretty scratched up. Yeah. It should still play. I think. Hopefully. That's the one with this. This one has the best soundtrack. It has like Soundgarden and all all kinds of stuff like that. I'm pretty sure. Also, this was dollar. I don't know. How, I didn't look it up. I'm assuming I can make a couple bucks on it, but you never know. Pretty good haul for a couple hour drive. Yep. And I also got, I got myself a Game Gear. Screen's a little scratched up. And it has corrosion inside, which I should be able to clean out. But it comes with a game. Sonic 2. It's pretty cool. And this book on drawing, I mean, probably six bucks. I paid 50 cents. I pay five bucks for this. I get half off my local uh, thrift store because I volunteer. Pretty good stuff. Oh yeah. So here's what I sold a little bit. This is what I sold over the weekend. It's a pretty good, pretty good haul. I got Batman games. Nine bucks. What was the date? 
this Wii really surprised me. They they're seventy two dollars all in, and really, I mean, it's just a Wii with a controller, two games. That's it. I guess the box made it worth more. But yeah, fifty five fifty five dollars plus shipping. Crazy. I, I did not guess that. I paid ten dollars for it. This remote was six dollars. No, my cat's going crazy. Ten dollars for this camera. Nikon Fun Touch. They said that uh, the battery port on all of them were like breaking off, which I can see why. When you open it, it's just like it bends, and yeah. It probably only has a couple more turns till it does break off. This thing, this thing's kind of creepy. Shh. Look at that. This thing was, I got it in a bag sale. It was like, honestly, with all the stuff I got, it was 50 cents or something. If not, I, I got $40 out of it took an offer. Um, I jumped on that. I'm like, sure. It's a... Uh, Mark Roberts. You can tell it's worth worth money just by looking at it, really. But, like... Yeah. Good stuff. That was a good deal. Roma Knub. Rummy with tiles. I never even heard of it. I just got it at a yard sale for a dollar. Got eight plus shipping, and they paid they paid like six, seven dollars for shipping. Priority shipping, and this too, like they paid almost ten bucks shipping. And this was a flash pad I've had for like six months or more. Got a Disney hat I got for quarter 50 cents eight nine bucks and all these uh, all of these um super all these GameCube games I got for a buck each it was a very good deal when I went out picking shut up yeah I took a deal on this 25 bucks I had more on it you know, I paid a dollar for it. This I paid a dollar for also, six bucks. And Wind Waker, I gave them a deal. It's twenty-one dollars. No. What's that? No. No. <laughs> oh, my cat's crazy. All right. This book I bought for myself, I actually paid like eight bucks for it. I sold it for five, whatever. It's going international. I don't even have international shipping on. I don't know how that happened. Whatever. This Monopoly, I got for a dollar. It was sealed. It's not sealed, but it has the security seal on it. The plastic's off. But you know, fifteen bucks, pretty good deal. Paid 50 cents for that, two bucks. Well, and day of reckoning is almost nine bucks. Overall, over the weekend, I made a couple hundred bucks, I think. Shh. My cat's crazy. Calm down. Well, like and subscribe for more content and do all that good stuff because reasons.